What's going on guys? It's your boy m 4 h coming at you with another video and today I want to go over some basics on how to start up your stream initially in OBS Studio. So let's get started. Alright guys, so basically what I want to go over today is just the simple aspects of getting everything loaded into OBS. Uh, I use Streamlabs OBS because it's a lot more user friendly than the original OBS. Um, they're both about the same in how you implement everything into them, but Streamlabs is a lot more streamlined and it comes with a lot of default applications and themes and all that you can put into it to make it a lot easier and make your stream look a lot more professional without having to add in a bunch of other things on the way. So basically what I'm going to go with first is the actual themes in OBS. When you're looking at them in here, there's multiple different uh, theme setups that you can download and apply right to your, your editor. And then after that, you pretty much just put in all the capture card, your webcam, your green screen, all that stuff into it. And then you can kind of build it from there on how you want it set up, where you want things to be located and all that. So as you can see, there's a lot of different ones that people have already uploaded in here that are free to use. You just click on one, you download it, and it automatically applies it into your toolbox. Your toolbox and you're pretty much good to go from there so if you look at one like this so it starts out you know you got your main screen where your webcam is your followers your donations your chat box all of that you got your starting screen your I'll be right back screen your offline intermission things of that your ending screen which I don't ever use but a lot of the pro streamers use them when they're about to you know finish for the day but there's a lot of cool stuff in here and there's hundreds of different themes you can get and install. All you got to do is install the overlay and then when you actually go into your editor, as you can see over here, I installed the gold bold one um, just for this video, just for so I can show everybody how to do it when it's pretty much blank except I added a couple things in here like my emblems and all that. So once you get that set up, you'll have all these little source boxes over here you got your header your chat box your webcam and then I added in my capture card and my OBS box to show you my OBS screen and then I also had to add in my microphone and the only how you're gonna do that is for say you're using PlayStation and you want to add your capture card in so you're just gonna go to add new source video capture device and add and then as you can see if it popped up on the screen it should have you'll get a new source you add and then you put in the Elgato capture card or whatever capture card you're using upload it into OBS and it will display and once you have that put in here you will get a box that'll pop up like this and as you can see it's showing my PS4 in the background you can drag it, make it bigger, you know, right click it for your properties. And you can go down to transform and stretch to the screen and it'll fill your whole screen with your PlayStation. And that's about as easy as that. And go back down here and hide this. And then you got these icons down here as well so you can show and hide your stuff. And then once you get things set, I like to lock them as well because I've commonly tried to move one thing that has a bunch of lettering in it or other things like that for your headers and your chat box and you wind up moving one rather than the whole thing and then it screws it all up and it makes for a mess that you gotta try to re-put everything back to where it looks straight and all that fun stuff so I make sure to lock pretty much everything that I know I'm not gonna be using or when I'm done moving it that it's there so moving on once you have your capture card set up now you're good to be able to stream your game but now you have no mic audio so then you're gonna wanna do the same thing you hit the add new source button and then you're gonna wanna add an audio input capture and that's when you would add in your microphone and I use just a regular blue snowball pick them up at Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon for like 50 bucks they're not the best but they're not bad they work 
So now you have your mic set up and your capture card set up. So pretty much now you can stream to Twitch and YouTube or whatever you want to do, but you don't have a video of yourself. There's no webcam and some people would rather stream without a webcam. Some do, some don't. And you won't have any of the other stuff, your headers, your chat box, unless you set those up as well. So moving on, we can go ahead and turn on our webcam frames. And it says your name in here. So this is the default that it comes with the gold bold theme. So all you'd have to do is go in here, unlock it, and then you'd right click it and go into properties and then you can go to change from your name and input your name into it add it in as you can see it made it extremely small and that's what I was saying about trying to move things around as well because then you gotta kinda wiggle it in here since it text is super small and try to make it big enough to where it fits get it positioned right and see I clicked on my webcam over my name so you want to make sure you click on just the name move it in your right position where you want it and once you got it you can go ahead and lock it and that's good now you have your webcam frame in there you got your name put in there but now you need to add your webcam so I have mine in here and I turned off a lot of my settings to make it look different so I can show you as well what you're gonna to wanna to do is once you have your webcam in here you're gonna to wanna to move it down from under your name I guess you can move it behind the frame as well and then it's on the bottom so it's gonna display behind the frame and then I go ahead and move mine out so there's multiple different buttons you can use you can use shift and drag it to resize it one way that's not usually the best option you can control click it and it'll keep the aspect ratio of your webcam in there so it doesn't blur and stretch and do all that to everything else and then alt will actually crop your sides out so you're gonna wanna go ahead and crop out your sides to where it fits to your green screen like behind me you can then resize it and move it into your position of where you want it behind your frame here and if you need to you can also shrink your frame then you can shift click and drag yourself over which make yourself huge and then you can control and kinda pull that aspect ratio back down and just mess with it until you kinda get it where you want it and drag this guy out here a little bit to where my green screen still in it And then you got it like that. So now I have my entire green screen in behind me and I'm in the frame and you can also shrink and move the frame too as well to make it fit how you want it. And then in your webcam when you're ready, if you have a green screen, you can go into the right click it and go to filters and then you add a new filter and you want to add a chroma key which you will then set up to your green screen. So for me, I put my similarity to similarity about 500 and both my smoothness and my key spill down to about zero and then I usually change my contrast and my brightness a little bit kind of darken them up a little bit to make it look a little better and then as you can see everything behind me except for my t-shirt that I have hanging on there disappears because it's green so once you have that, you're pretty much good to go for your webcam. You leave that hanging out down there and you're good to go. The other things you can do, you want to make sure you lock them too. So that way you don't try to drag them around and move them. So then you have your chat box. Um, chat box are fun when you're in the game. And, you know, sometimes a lot of people are just focused and they're, they don't have their actual Twitch thing up so they can see their chat box right here on their main editor screen or their live screen over just twitch so you'll see all the comments and everything like that rolling down through here anything that happens will pop up and pretty much if people talk it'll show up pretty common sense on that one so your chat box will pop up this is also the default for gold bold and then 
finally you have your header so you got your new follower up there your top donation and your new donation and those are basically automatically generated in Twitch. It's already linked so it knows what's there. When you open it up, you have your alert box, which is this little box right here. Whenever somebody donates or subscribes or follows or anything like that, it'll pop up in a little alert. And you can go down here and actually show it what it looks like. So mine is set up for Fortnite still for some crazy reason. It didn't I didn't download any different ones for this. So it's going to show, you know, Fortnite stuff, showing a new sub and you can make this bigger, or smaller, however you want it. New sub, new donation, makes the funky sounds and all that fun stuff, your bits. And if you're getting hosted. Things like that. So that shows up. And then you're pretty much good on that if you want to leave that up there. Some people have them, some people don't. I personally usually don't like having anything at the top because I play a lot of FPS games so and Madden. So like your mini maps and your scores and all that are up here on top. So it kind of gets in the way of your screen. So I usually get rid of those or I change the names out and put different aspects in it. Make sure to lock that as well. And then pretty much you're about good to go depending on what else you want to add in here. Um, some people like backgrounds behind them. Or if you see streamers you know, just doing like in real life stuff, uh, they just have a green screen like I do behind me. And then they blow their webcam up the whole way and then pretty much delete everything in their background and they can drag whatever kind of image. You, know, you just go to add new source, add an image. And they can drag in whatever they want behind them and that's going to stay there permanently for the rest of the time unless they want to change it or anything like that and that's about it for that aspect so now you have your snowball you have your header your chat box your webcam pretty much you're now good to go everything should be set up to run the way you want it you want to look at your mixer over here and make sure your you know your mic isn't too loud to where it's going to overtake your game audio you want to check your capture card sound as well. Make sure it's not too loud. So everything kind of balances itself out. And it sounds good. And it's not too, too crazy. I can go ahead and pull my actual game back up. This is also, it comes with it. This is the background for the gold bold. Um, some guy playing Battlefield. But you bring it back up. You know, you can pretty much just run like normal. You would just blow this whole screen up to your background and then you can play whatever you want but you got to make sure down here as well that your capture card and all that is below your webcam your chat box and all that you want anything that you want to display as the biggest part of your stream all the way at the bottom because if i move it above everything else and i blow it up it'll actually cover up your webcam and all that because it's above it but if I move it down back below everything it puts me back in front of it so good thing to remember always want to blow it up make sure it's in the bottom and you're good to go for that aspect of it there's a lot of other things you can add in the sources you can add alert boxes your viewer count your bit goals, um, any kind of goals you want, donations. You can add the jar to show the bits coming into it, stream labels, uh, the wheel spins for like donations and all that. And it's pretty interesting. It can get kind of technical at sometimes, but other times it's not too bad. You can figure it out pretty easily. And then for like my background here for OBS, um, I'm actually doing when you add a source you would add a video capture, or not a video capture, sorry, you'd add a display capture or a window capture. And then for your window capture, say you want to play a Steam game on PC, you would then want to do a window capture and capture anything that's full screen. So if you're playing a game full screen, it's going to capture whatever is full screen. So usually running two different monitors, your game on one, your stream on the other, it's going to capture that full screen game in here 
and then everything else will overlay over top of it. So I played Realm Royale for a while on here. I played Smite a little bit and I do the same thing. Instead of having your capture card for your PlayStation or your Xbox, you just have a window capture capturing that window. So pretty easy, not too terribly difficult. Uh, there's a lot more things you can get into at the top here, the app store, there's lots of different apps you can buy or subscribe to for a monthly fee. It's like one that shoots fireworks off when people sub and things like that. Um, there's widgets you can add in as well as you saw from my donations and stuff like that. That was Fortnite. So you can download things like that to change it up, make it different, make it your own over these you know, basic ones that you can download in the store. Um, I just added in an image and I put my M4H and my Team 350 in here. Um, instead of having it down here, you can shrink. I can shrink this one down to size. And as you can see, I didn't actually click on that. I was clicking on something else that's unlocked. That was actually my capture card. So that's why you want to make sure things are locked because then you click on the wrong, wrong button and you can't move it. So my M4H was locked. That's why I couldn't move it. So, you know, you can bring it down here, shrink it down to size, and put it up here if you really wanted to, you know, shrink it smaller. But, you know what I'm getting at there. And that's about it for this, I would imagine. Um, if you guys have any questions or want to see anything else in OBS, uh, I'll gladly do that. And if you have any issues in setting up Capture Card or webcams or anything like that, hit us up, uh, team, team 350 gaming at gmail.com. And I respond usually within the same day, usually in an hour. Uh, once it pops up on my phone, I kind of try to respond as quickly as I can and try to help people out as much as I can. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to grow here as much as everybody else is. And we love promoting followers. So you guys help us. We're always trying to help you guys out. So we appreciate it. Keep it up and enjoy yourself streaming. Thanks, guys.